Hi guys, so I just got back from my workout class. I know I always start intros in my bathroom as of recently, but that's because my routine is I go work out and then I come into my bathroom, wash my hands, and then I go make breakfast. So yeah, so today's video is really going to be all about belly fat, motivation, all that kind of stuff. Lately, I've been really pushing myself and really holding myself accountable, and sometimes it can be so, so hard because like today, for example, I really wanted to sleep in. The workout class that I took today, it's it starts really early in the morning. I have to be there at like 6.45 to get a parking spot. So with that being said, I have to definitely wake up accordingly, which you guys know I like waking up early, but there's a couple days out of the week that I'd like to sleep till six instead of wake up at 5.30. But I pushed myself and I went and now I feel amazing. So that's really what I wanna talk about in today's video because I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, that all you need is that like initial push. You go work out or you go eat healthy, you buy the right groceries and then you feel amazing and you're so happy you did it. But sometimes you just need that little extra push and that motivation and someone cheering you on and telling you you can do it. And that's what my channel's here for. You know, I'm really here to be a fitness mentor um, and really help you guys out. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. We're gonna go make some protein pancakes. So I recently showed you guys how to make protein pancakes. So I will leave that video down below. I did change out one ingredient and I told you guys on Instagram story I would update you oops oats went everywhere one cup of oats part of the recipe that I'm changing instead of doing baking powder I'm going to be doing flaxseed meal so I just I don't really have like a exact recipe for this flaxseed provides omega so I just thought you know why not add something that's gonna do something for your body Protein powder, go. Some nutmeg, because you want these to taste really good too. And some cinnamon. Oh. <laughs> this is a metabolism booster. And then the last thing is milk. This is plant-based milk, but it has eight grams of protein. So this is a nice high protein breakfast. Okay, so then the mixture looks like this. It's like a nice pudding consistency, nice and thick like protein, I mean, <laughs> like pancake mix. And so the next thing you wanna do is put a little coconut oil on your pan. That way we can flip them nice and easy and coconut oil is nice and sweet and it goes well with pancakes. As you can see, I am not a low fat, high carb vegan. <laughs> Just like a balance of everything and I love coconut oil. Obviously the prettiest protein pancakes you've ever seen. <laughs> Looks like a mosh posh, but it's gonna taste really good. And I have some fresh fruit, peanut butter, and a tiny bit of maple syrup on top. Hi guys, so I'm all ready. I'm not like gross and sweaty anymore. By the way, I have some water. So now we're just gonna have like a water talk, which is kind of like coffee talk, but less exciting because it's water. Okay, so today is Tuesday, May 22nd. So the reason why I'm saying the date is because this is around the time when my DM starts to really blow up with fitness questions and sugar craving questions and, you know, really toning up quick as possible. You know, what are the ways you can get the fastest results before summer and all that stuff. It's that time of year that we can start to think about our bodies and what we're eating and really pay closer attention to the food that we're putting in our bodies or the exercise that we're not doing, exercise that we should be doing or whatever the case may be. Come on in, guys. Come on. Come on, Wyatt. We got the dogs. It's gonna be a water talk with the dogs. Gang's here. And there's hair in my lip gloss. Okay, so I first just wanna start out by saying that you guys know my channel, you guys know my intentions. Fitness is something that should be a part of your life. It shouldn't be something like quick. My personal opinion, it shouldn't be something that you're like, okay, I wanna do this just for summer and then I'm gonna stop doing it. No, by no means am I saying that. I think that the more you care about what you eat, the more you care about you know, working out and really relieving stress in that way and enjoy eating good, healthy food, you're really gonna feel your best. You're gonna feel confident about your body from the inside out because I know when I'm eating really good, even before I saw like a lot of fitness results when I first started, but when I started really eating good, I started feeling really confident. Wait, we just have to take this moment that they're both like about to take a nap. They're so cute. So one of the most important things I wanna say and to really start off this talk with and kind of a topic that I definitely wanna talk about is 
fitness and health and eating well and all that good stuff, it's kind of one of those things that I've noticed that the more you put in, the more you actually get out. So you don't just get out, you know, the weight loss and the toning up and, you know, see, actually seeing physical results. And obviously that feels nice and it feels nice to look in the mirror and really feel yourself and see like, Hard work pays off. It's one of those things that you can actually see the hard work pay off. Um, but the other thing you get from it is you're more happy, you're more successful, you're more positive. It's gonna sound a little crazy, but you kind of feel like you get life. Like, do you sometimes feel like you're in such a rut and you're like, what is going on? Like, I've tried everything. I don't know what to do next. Or I, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing with my life or something like that. Like, do you ever get that feeling? I feel like ever since I started eating healthy and caring about my fitness, actually making an effort to be healthy that my life has gotten so much better when you're eating really well and you're working out your body is performing at its best that's when your body is like thank you <laughs> like this is exactly what I need once you can finally make the decision with yourself this isn't something that you're gonna do with anybody else and it's nice to have like fitness buddies and it's nice to like go to the gym with somebody at the end of the day the decision is between you yourself and you I don't even know what I'm saying. It was funny because I was listening to something on the radio that sometimes having a fitness buddy isn't always the best because when they start to slack off or when they make excuses for themselves that you're like, yeah, all right, I'll do it too. Like, I'll, we'll just both skip the gym together and that you're more likely to skip eating healthy or skip going to the gym with your buddy because you guys can kind of convince each other, hey, we don't need to do that. I am an example of this. There have been times when Jared has been like, let's go to the gym together and we pull up to the gym and I'm like, I'm not going in. Those of you that watch my channel, my Instagram stories, you know that I really like thrive and live my best life in fitness classes. Me in the gym and like doing my own workouts like that in like a gym structure and other people are working out. It's just like, we don't go. I'm the worst gym buddy for Jared because I really slack off going and I actually just quit my gym membership for the second time. Okay, so now that we've talked about that, like the reasons why you wanna start, you know, really caring about your health and fitness that literally if you like your life now, I promise you start eating healthy, you start working out, you're gonna love of your life 10 times more. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is something that I always see in Instagram comments, Twitter comments, YouTube comments, Instagram DM. I see this all the time and it's cravings and that that's the one thing that stops you or that's the one thing that holds you back. What I know now, a thousand, a thousand percent, go back and tell my younger self or go back and you know tell myself when I first started my fitness journey, it's if I'm not eating food that is actually nourishing me and is food that I need, so I know for me I need fruit every day, something really green, like leafy greens. I know I need some protein, I know I need carbs. If I'm skipping out on that, so eating fast food or eating like, I don't eat Twinkies, but like something like that, like a weird kind of candy or cookie that you get somewhere that has like no nutritional value. Or if I'm eating french fries or something like that, I am 100% more hungry, even though those things have more calories, those things have more fat, those things have more carbs, it doesn't matter. That is when I am feeling more hungry, that's when my cravings are through the roof. And what I want you to do now, I want you to actually challenge yourself the rest of this week. Log in notes in your phone or something like that. When you start to get cravings, what were you eating that day? Was it something really nutritious or was it like a Starbucks drink and now immediately you're craving something salty? The other thing guys, if I skip a week of workouts, so if I for a whole week just decide I'm not working out this week, which I did a lot when we were moving, that's another time that I noticed with my body, that's when I start to have cravings. I think it's something that my, I think my body Body sort of like acting out because I was so you see you know moving and grooving at my workout classes going on long walks and then to just like really do nothing and just focus on like the house and packing and unpacking my body was definitely out of whack so can we have vegan cookies you know another thing is if I'm dehydrated not drinking a lot of water this is really gross but recently as in like yesterday morning my pee was very yellow too visual today that's why I'm like carrying around my water all day with me and refilling it up the other thing that can be fun to do is to set weekly goals for yourself. My weekly goal is to have a more like clear pee. <laughs> so lots and lots of water and that way I can actually physically look in the toilet like Dr. Oz has advised us so many times. <laughs> look in the toilet and be like, okay, good. I'm hydrated. I'm drinking enough water because my pee is pretty much clear, pale yellow or whatever he always says. So really quick, just because I was talking about fruit, if you are sensitive to fruit sugars and you feel that you are counting sugars, counting calories, counting macros or anything like that, 
I do want to say berries should always be on your grocery list no matter what fruit I'm buying like I do have some more tropical fruit in my refrigerator like I have some mango I have some pineapple but I always make sure to get berries so berries are gonna be your best friend if you are counting macros or calories or anything like that they are a low sugar fruit I just add berries to pretty much anything if I'm making cereal or something that it needs like a extra boost of vitamins and minerals then I'll add berries on top I'll add them in my protein shakes protein smoothies okay so now I'm going to be making a matcha muffin for breakfast so this is everything I'm going to be using and I do have a matcha cookbook which you guys just saw but I actually found this recipe on Pinterest <laughs> I really hope this comes out good guys. If not, then I'm sorry. <laughs> but the first thing you just wanna do is mash the avocado. You want to add that to a blender and then you want to add some maple syrup. They had a cup of maple syrup in the recipe, which I think is a little much and a little too sugary. So I just did a tiny bit and then you just want to blend that. really moussey texture and I did try some <laughs> it's really good already this is a bigger muffin tray than normal muffins and cupcakes this is like a jumbo size so mine made three jumbo ones which I think is perfect because I think a muffin is great with your coffee and I usually just eat like one at a time so I just ate one of the other ones and they just needed a little bit more sweetness so I drizzled some maple syrup on top added a little cacao nibs to give it a nice chocolatey crunch but without all the sugar of the chocolate and there you go having it with a little iced chai so that's the video guys mm. tastes better with maple syrup on top but that's the video guys love you guys so much it's turned into mukbang <laughs> have an awesome rest of your day and i'll see you guys soon bye